first, it is a money grab on 285 in Dunwoody. An armored truck spilled roughly $175,000. Driver stopped the car, jumped out of there, started picking up the cash off the highway. Looks like a scene from a game show and video of it went viral very quickly. The pictures are impossible not to, to be struck by. And you take a look at this, but there's a stern warning from police tonight. Because as Joe Hankey shows us, this blessing is actually considered a crime. It couldn't be real, could it? Cash on 285 westbound in Dunwoody Monday night, just waiting to be picked up. At first, it looked like tree leaves, Randall Lewis says, and then he spotted the dollar signs. I just pulled over and then started and start picking up as much as I can. You know, that was the first that was the first thing that came to mind, you know. Uh, that never happened to me. I didn't know how to react. My body just moved, you know. Lewis says himself and at least a dozen others quickly cleaned up the interstate. Children, uh, grown adults, uh, girls is coming from, from maybe a pool party who's trying to get money. Other drivers and passengers started putting videos on social media. It just feel like um, I was part of a movie or like a scam, you know, like people like throwing out fake money maybe, you know, it just doesn't seem real. The money was definitely real. Singles, 20s, 50s. Sergeant Robert Parsons with Dunwoody Police says around $175,000 disappeared. When our officers arrived, they met with the armored car driver and crew and they said that while they were driving on 285 West, someone pulled up alongside them and let them know that their side door had come open. They apparently were not immediately aware of it. Parsons says the truck door opened as its crew drove between pickups. How the door opened and cash fell out is being investigated, a spokesperson with security company Garda World says, as they are working with local authorities as well as investigating internally. Now Dunwoody police are asking everyone to return the money. We're all human beings. We all understand the temptation. We all, uh, a lot of people would have done the same exact thing in that position. But then reality needs to set in. And keeping the cash, Parson says, is considered theft. Depending on how much you picked up, it could be a misdemeanor or a felony with prison time attached to it. Lewis picked up $2,000 but brought it to police today. He says spending it did not feel right. If y'all risking it, I wouldn't. That's why I turn it in. Okay, good for you, Mr. Lewis. I think that is an instinct to pick it up. Good he did it honest. So because Dunwoody police say keeping it is theft, what happens next? Because we saw the video. There were so many people out there on the highway. Absolutely. A lot of people out there. Right now they're going through an amnesty period. Basically bring the money in. No questions asked. No crime committed. Pretty soon, though, they tell me they're going to start going through those social media videos, the ones we showed you there. There's others out there. They can look at tag numbers, and they said they're going to start going through those numbers and trying to track people down and, and pressing theft charges if they find them. And maybe even be able to see how much money they might have collected in Absolutely. the process. All right. Video is good for us to see, but it can also be evidence. Joe Hankey, I've never seen a story like that. Thank I you so either. much. There's a first for everything, right, Jeff?